Hi everyone, it's Raja and Aquaria, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, photo Review. Review. They are back, and you are back. I'm, and back, I'm back again. I am having such a great time. This is week two that I get to hang out with Aquaria, which is an absolute delight, and I feel so honored to be in the presence Aww. yet again well, of the you. current reigning goddess queen of the world. Yes, God. Well, thank you so much, Raj. I'm so happy to be here. What are we doing today, Aquaria? Today, the girls are coming out in their best lip sync performance drag looks. This could be something with reveals, a dance costume, whatever you feel comfortable slaying mm -hmm. it in a performance too. Okay. Sounds like a lot of information. Let's go ahead and start this party. Here yes, we go. Our first girl to the stage. We bring contestant number one. Manila Luzon. Manila Luzon. Yes. Oh. And in typical Manila fashion, she is serving pure camp on a plate with the cutlery. Yes. And the tomato sauce and the spaghetti. And the tablecloth. Yeah, she's really bringing a fabulous look to the table. And I'm just, I'm really impressed. This is fabulous Manila, just as I always love. Yes. Um, Super stupid, super fashion, <laughs> super, super stupid. That's what I call her. I mean, it's, it's that's actually when when I'm when, uh, when that's what she's listed as on my phone. Super yeah. Super stupid. Yeah. Yeah. We she all know. She is super stupid. Yeah. Um, I love this. She's so I, good. Yeah. She. All, you know, Manila has this really great um, way of taking things that are campy and whimsical and really just kind of. She's a walking pun. Yeah. She's like, get it? <laughs> I'm a spaghetti table. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I. Uh, I love it. I think she. Uh, uh, she makes me feel like that that like, like I'm in like little Italy in New York City yeah. right now at the San Gennaro festival and um, she's selling me an Italians do it better t-shirt I absolutely <laughs> uh, yeah um, <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I love her. fantastic. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Successful Manila. It's got it that. A... It's got a really cool silhouette too. It's very like Dior, the new look of the 1940s. Yeah, but then the you have the, the, the mm -hmm. napkin moment here and mm -hmm. the, ah, mm -hmm. love toot, love big old toot, big old this? Italian toot. Absolutely, this is an absolute toot. Yeah. Mamma mia. Ma na oh. Money hashasha, hashimashinasha. I think Monet looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love this color hair on her. Mm -hmm. The dress is not my favorite dress. I am, it's not my favorite dress. You completely just contradicted yourself. You just said she was fabulous, but you hate the dress. Well, you can still look gorgeous and great and- In a bad like, dress. And I, <laughs> no, I, the dress isn't even bad, but I just, I don't like it. Okay. What is it that you don't like? I don't like the, it's obviously not supposed to be like a nude illusion, but it's kind of a strange, strange cut kind of moment. Okay. I don't know. And the little sperms all floating into the center of her is not my favorite as well. I don't Who know. Who has a problem with really, sperm on their dress? I mean, like I prefer it. Well, I have a problem it. with too much of it on yeah. my dress. That's the thing, <laughs> can't, can't get it off. Um, I actually really love this. Monet has got the simplicity. She like really mm. follows that rule of taking one thing off. And mm. I just, I, I really like it. I think it fits her well. I like the little details on it. And it's just very Monet to me. I mm -hmm. like it. I think it, it works for her and I'm gonna give this a two. It's pretty, but I'm gonna have to boot it for today. Sorry, Monet, just not my cup of tea. Well, clearly you're a horrible. I mean, I have terrible taste. You see what I'm wearing, so it's. it's <laughs> this is. Next, we have Monique Hart. Monique Hart. We love a fierce dancing costume, and that is what she's serving today. I love the two tone organza ruffle thing. I feel like I've seen her in that, um, maybe in a, in a press event that we did in New York or something, or, mm -hmm. or maybe something similar. Um, Monique definitely likes to stay. Is in that it. bad though? If people no. wear things over like more than once? I don't think so. Okay. And especially if you're in like the same genre of like, like when she does her cartoony looks, like mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. do a million cartoony looks because right. that's, that's your thing. Um, I, think I don't know, I always just kind of feel guilty now in this, in this day and age of drag because everyone's coming up with such fantastic looks all the time. Yeah. And spending all of their coin on it. I'm like, all am I allowed to wear things 
twice, three times, four times. I've, and and in my opinion, yes, because yeah. I paid money for it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, th um, that was a complete side note. That's I like it. it. She's got the rhinestones and the sequins, and you know she's going to be twirling and swirling, dipping and tripping. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not too much tripping um, I hope not. during this performance. Yeah. So I like it. I give it a two. Yeah. It really is Soft. sort of the essentials as far as like. Uh, drag. Yeah. It's got a nice bodysuit so it can move around and it looks Easy sexy. Easy thigh high to dance in. And I love volume. I love volume as a cover up. I love volume as a reveal. I just like it because it just makes, it, you know, it it's makes you big larger than life. Too. Yeah, volume in the hair, volume in the outfit. Um, so to me, it's it's a cool look. I think this is a toot. Toot. Next we have Naomi, Naomi Smalls. Smalls. Wow. Giving you the only teeny tiny lady <sighs> fantasy. Yeah. This creepy yeha moment. I'm emotional about this because I'm fat right now and I've got to wear I mean, so I much think, stuff on top of me. I'm fat right now. Off, yes. Aquaria. We all are compared to this. Look at this you. Well. The only thing, the only reason why I'm wearing this like golden slime <laughs> contraption is because I'm hiding a dad bod beneath. But oh, look at I, Naomi Smalls. Now that is. Wait till that bitch turns 40. Man, is she going to blow up like a hot air balloon. Oh my I gosh. hope. I'm, I'm actually praying for that to happen. Oh. This is unfair. I love it. It's, it's <laughs> cute. I do wish maybe it was, there was a little more going on with maybe like a cooler accessory moment mm. just because I feel like the, the public has kind of gotten a little comfortable with this strappy look. We've seen it on Nicki Minaj and you know millions of different people and it yeah. looks awesome. Um, but I think for like Drag Race, it could have used like a little bit of a twist to it, maybe. Right. Like something funky in the head or... Right. But that's just be, being nitpicky. It's, it's long, tall and gorgeous. I'm gonna give this a two just because it is like, I mean, come on, you know? Not everybody can do that. And that clearly is Naomi and I love it. And she looks fantastic. And I am not gonna eat for a week. Thanks a lot, Naomi. I'm gonna... I'll give this one a toot. You were hesitant. I've just seen this look a lot on Naomi before, and not that that's a bad thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I just wish it had some sort of extra pizzazz to it. Mm -hmm. But I guess the gorgeousness is the pizzazz, and I'm just jealous and bitter. That could be it, too. Next we have Trinity. Trinity the top. Trinity. She's talking a lot under there. I guess She's so. got a big old reveal on. I don't love the reveal coat, I'm gonna tell you right no. now. Because it's like, wow. Because you know what, I do believe that first impressions are everything. So when you're gonna walk out onto the stage, I want people to actually still gag on your, before it's but a reveal. But does she have something under the, the, the black? Well, apparently the glitz and glam is all underneath that. And I would have probably flipped it over as a reversible thing and been like, wow, look at this. And then oh. reveal into what we see now, which is this caged bondage. It's giving me that that uh, that number in Showgirls when they're all like wearing the black bobs and they come in on motorcycles oh. and then they're like and then they're like oh, gyrating. Kind of reminds me of the the, the Jeremy Scott for Adidas. Mm. Uh, chain jacket. You know what? I love this. I love what, what the reveal does. I love that her body looks fantastic. I love the boots. Look at the boots. Shimmering, sexy, yeah. glittery, emerald color, I think. Yeah, yes. it's like that, that drag queen sequin. Mm -hmm. that Probably goes two directions, turns different colors, I'm sure. I don't know. But she, I think she looks great. I think she looks like a, like a, um, an amazing pop star, like Shania Twain or something. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is my favorite dance outfit from Trinity, mm -hmm. but I know that this is very f flexible for her. She's definitely whipping her hair quite a bit in this. Mm -hmm. It's it's very cute and uh, it's probably better than half the ring, so what am I even saying? It's a toot for me. Yeah, I think it's a toot. Next we have Valentina. Valentina. All right. I personally love this look. I love it. Um, I love how that one, there's that strap that goes around that connects to the glove. Yes. See that? The glove shoulder thing. And Everything then, matches really nice. Uh -huh. It's very simple, but you know, this is her performance look, so she can move around in this. I think her figure looks wonderful. I like that the shoes match. I like that there's that little cool little gold block Absolutely, of a heel. Absolutely, which the belt, I'm sure, is gold as well. Mm -hmm. She's great with the details. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a toot. I love it, it's a toot. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jush is back. She's giving you lovely, nice hair and a fierce cat suit that you know a bitch can dance in. Mm -hmm. We love the little rhinestone moment. Mm -hmm. It seems like maybe a more accessible design to acquire, but um, 
What I does that mean? That, I mean, that was a, uh, a, a silly like way. Like anyone can get it? it? It seems like something that you can get at one of those fierce stores that sells like the really you know good performance drag stuff. Uh -huh. um, but that doesn't mean it's not a great choice. I love the roses on her. It's very pretty. Uh -huh. um, it's pretty and it's and it's a cat suit, so it's fierce. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that. I don't feel like I definitely see Jasmine Masters wearing this type of look a lot. So I mm -hmm. love the the kind of different variation of the catsuit for her. I like it. I like the idea of like, you know, nudish with tattoo print. Mm -hmm. uh, I love we roses. Love roses are my favorite flower. One of my favorite flowers. I think it looks great. I think if this is a dance, you know, if, a, if the challenge requires you to move quite a bit, a catsuit is the way to go. Absolutely. And I like the details on it. It would be fun too, though, if there was like some 3D moments on it. Like if she actually oh, yeah. had like flowers. roses on it, oh, that yeah. would make it really cool too. Well, but for what for for the job that it is, I I enjoy it and I give it a two. Yeah, I give it a two also. Fabulous. Next we have pheromone, and I am living for this. Mm -hmm. I like this whole pink into the yellow and and purple fantasy that she's been going for. She did that uh, in episode one with her compact burlesque look, mm -hmm. and I love this. I love the the ribbons. Um, with that little V cut in them, mm -hmm. uh, it's just very cool. It's very I fun. love it. There must have been a it's memo crazy. or a sale on sequin boots with the peep toe. That's um, also that true. might be a trend alert because this is the second person on the runway wearing that similar boot in a different color. Are they on sale because they're going on a style? Wow, you went there. Well, it. <laughs> that could be the reason they're on sale. I don't they know. They are. A, it's a fantastic boot, and I wish they came in my size. And I'm actually going to go to Amazon and check out peep toe sequin thigh high boot. I'm right sure you can fit one, I of do your, like that. one of your toes in there. One. The pinky. I really, really love this look. I like that she's gone with pastels, which is a big signature for pheromone. But she's gone with pastel in a sunsetty kind of way, and it's um, always a very compelling. Uh, color scheme, mm -hmm. so I love that. It's exotic bird, it's glam rock. I love this whole thing. I so love her hair in it. I I love that she's gone with something that's less whipped cream, because that, that's that's one of the looks that I'm getting a little And little this looks like she of. can dance really fun in it, and yeah. it would be inspiring to hair move swings. around with. Mm -hmm. uh, so I give it a major two. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful look. It's a two for me as well. Next, next we, we have, have Gia, Gia Gunn. Gunn. On mm -hmm. the runway, she's serving very schoolgirl fantasy. Mm -hmm. I love that look on her with the super long natural hair. Mm -hmm. And then it reveals. It's very different from anything we see Gia in too because she's either Truth. like very like, hi, I'm gorgeous mm -hmm. or hi, you know, I'm fashion-y. But this is, this is very covered up. Yeah. And I love. And then it is not covered up because she reveals into this look. Yes, Bam. gold. It's all glass beaded fringe. Yeah, I don't think you can totally go wrong with an outfit that's entirely made of glass beaded fringe. I mean, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's not on me. Truth. But on the bright side, it's on her and we get to enjoy it. Yeah, that. she looks fantastic in it and I give this a two. It's always stunning, it's always a two. Sexy. Last but oh not least, we have Latrice Royale. Yes, excuse the beauty. Gonna have to excuse the color scheming, not matching up the way I would like it to. I but. don't love this. I love the, Okay, how do I say this? I, uh, you know, I love a cool, I see what the outfit is. It's like that stretchy, fringy thing, but mm -hmm. I feel like the stripes, because it's on sort of a nude mm -hmm. fabric, yeah, it doesn't, like the stripes don't give you that yeah, peekaboo. This is what Latrice is, is trying to bring it back with, and you know what, if she says, I have an opportunity to come back, I know she does not want to roll an ankle or something during the stupid performance, so she is saying, you know what, Excuse the beauty and excuse this shoe, please. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, well, I mean, yeah, that's fair. We're talking about fashion, though, so I. So just, fashionably, no. No, it's not working for me. I just think that it, there's a major disconnect in it. I do think she looks really beautiful. Yeah. Trend alert. Sequin, peep toe, thigh high boots. Shiny little things that you can stuff your big toe in. Show it to the world. The oh. house down boot sequin. House pito. down boots through shiny yeah. time. Sequin pito. two way sequins. Out. Yeah. Iridescence. Work. Trying to catch the judge's eye with your long manly feet. <laughs> what? Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is Manila, Manila Luzon. Luzon. Yes, we love it. She's 
themed girl spaghetti it, dinner. She's yeah. Olive Garden, darling. She, she's Olive yes. Garden. She is all of the closet. Mm -hmm. She is all of the fashion. All you can eat salad and breadsticks. Yes, uh, bitch, work. Yes. Mama mia. Amped it up. Put the amp in camp. <laughs> Tune in to VH1 Fridays for a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 4. Make sure you check the links below to see if All-Stars 4 is available in your region on WOW Presents Plus. Right now. Off, Aquaria.